Okay, it is July 22nd of 2020. For this video, I'm focusing mainly on the squash plants. Right here, if you look closely, this is a female flower. And if you can see the slight bulge under the bottom of the flower, that's the ovary that will develop into the squash. This is the mandan squash. It, based on the color and size of the flower, it looks like it has a good chance of blooming tomorrow. So I'll be taping shut the flower with masking tape along with some of the male flowers right here. Note the lack of the bulge over underneath. This is all pollen. I'll be taping these shut, about four of them, and using them to pollinate this female flower for seed saving. I'll record the process tomorrow. It may seem a bit strange and um, some people but it is a very important process for seed saving if you're growing more than one squash at a time. Okay, I've just taped up the flower with masking tape. This is the female flower. Some say to wrap the, uh, the tape a certain way, but I just simply uh, wrapped it, uh, the tape carefully around the very tip of the flower. So it's in a way that's easy to remove. I've also taped up about, in this case, four male flowers from as many vines as possible. In this case, I have three vines. Make sure the flowers are fully developed and clearly look like they're going to bloom tomorrow. These are day. These are our tomorrow flowers is what I've heard them called. I suggest looking at the Seed Savers Exchange video on uh, hand pollinating squash for a better guide on hand pollination. I am a novice. This is only my second year doing this. I have uh, better instructions there. I'm just right now documenting my uh, process for hand pollination for uh, the sake of a vlog, basically. I'll show you what I'm doing tomorrow. It has to be done early in the morning around, the hand pollination process has to happen early in the morning around sunrise. That's when the flowers open. They tend to wilt early in the morning around afternoon. By then it's a little late for hand pollination. Best to do it early in the morning so that uh, also due to uh, temperature, uh, squash tend to poll get pollinated better when the temperature is less than 90 degrees. Don't know why. But it seems to be the case most of the time. It's now the morning, 6.30 of the 4th, really early in the morning. And you can see the flowers have no, now opened. So what I did is I took the other flowers that I've already taped, and I'm going to peel away the petals of this one and shove the male anthers into the uh, inside of this flower. After, of course, I've removed the tape. I'll show you. yourselves. This is going to look a little weird. I'm going to have to stick this in here and rub the pollen on the inside. Um, technically, this, this is plant sex, but... Um, I'll show you. <laughs> like that. If the sight of me shoving uh, male flower parts into a female flower didn't uh, make you blush too much. I taped back up the female flower so that no other squash bees go inside and my flowers stayed true to seed. Oh, not to zoom in. Come on. There we go. Now, later in the day I'm going to mark this flower with a uh, piece of twine so that once the uh, with the flower petals fall off, I can still identify this as pollinated by hand. In the meantime, I'm going to show you what a squash bee looks like. A squash bee on the inside there. Here comes another. Looks like they're not spending very long in here. Although uh, squash bees I have seen in the past, they tend to spend longer in the flower than a honeybee. They have a slightly different color abdomen than honeybee. After you've been out here for a while, you can tell them apart. 
tend to have a lighter color abdomen, less uh, golden color. So those were the squash bees. It's best not to till the soil where you're going to plant squash because uh, squash bees, uh, they nest underground. And um, if you till up the soil too much, then the uh, squash bees, they, uh, you could damage their colony. So that's enough for my rant on squash bees. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this content, you can go ahead and subscribe.